Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Elite Survival Systems smokescreen backpack. Now, Elite Survival Systems is a company that makes about 99% of their product in the U.S., but this one happens to be made in Vietnam. Um, still, the quality on this is pretty good compared to a lot of bags. Um, this has a pretty high price point, um, but it's a nice bag. I'm just going to kind of give you a tour of it, just front to back. Okay, so right here you've got uh, an elastic pocket right here. You've got a little bay area where you can put your excess strap. Now this is meant to be an ambi backpack. You can take this strap and you can attach it to either point. So you can attach it here and carry it over your left shoulder or attach it here and carry it over your right shoulder or vice versa. So when you're not using it, just plug it up in here. Now behind this, there is a pocket. It comes down almost entirely. You have two little mini organizers in there, space for your pens, etc., and a little lock for your keys. These zippers are really good quality too. They have a nice little, um, they have your, your standard, I don't know, just a stamped metal zipper, and then they also have a drawstring on top of it. Now your ma your major compartment is right in here, and inside there's not a whole lot going on. You do have another organizer inside here, um, but that's about it. Now on the side here, you have a little panel. The reason why this is called a smoke screen because you have a nice little pocket here to put a holster that can... You've got a lot of hook Velcro in here that you can uh, attach the Velcro holster in. So you can reach in and access your weapon on either side. You just undo that. Go right in there. You can just keep it like that and go in. Um, and you also have a little pocket right here. That's just, that's just for whatever, in my opinion. Um, on this bit right here, you have a very small pocket, probably not big enough for a cell phone, but you could put something there as well. Um, the padding on the back is, in my opinion, the nicest bit of this. Nice, thick pads. You carry something really heavy in here and not feel it. And you also have this nice textured, sort of a leather material right here, which helps give you grip so your pack isn't going to slide around all the time. You can kind of hear that. Kind of feels like, uh, kind of feels like a leather. It's, a, it's definitely a faux leather, but it's a, a textured, rough, um, sticky leather. All right, so I will leave a link to a review in the description, and also I will find the best price for you guys and post that there as well if you want to buy it. All right, talk to you next time.